create a class group, you must first go to the main menu, Evaluation and Groups, and you will access to this page. You will see that in this window, the plus icon will appear at the bottom of the screen. You have two options. If you click with the right mouse button, you will see several options to create a group. You can create a group from a base group in case you are part of a center. You can create a normal group. You can import a group from Microsoft Teams or from Google Classroom. You can also import a group from Moodle or you can create a new folder in order to have all your groups ordered in different folders. In this case, if you want to just create a normal group, you can click normally on the plus icon and then you have to set up the basic information. For example, a title. We have to set up the class starting date and the class ending date. Once all the information has been added, you just to click on the class timetable. That is to say which days of the week is going to be held the class. You can also add if it's going to be repeated every day, every week, every two weeks, starting to the first one as week A, or starting the week as week B. Once all the information has been added, just click on the Save button and the system will automatically redirect you to the group you have just created. There are several options for adding students. You can add them manually or you can import students by clicking on the student icon on the left side of the screen. You will see that the system will give you several options. You have the option of importing students from a base group, again, if you are part of a center. You can import students from an Excel document, from Google Classroom, from an official platform, from an existing group that you have already created as a group class, or you can add students manually. I'm going to show you how to import students from an Excel document. We just go to our device. And select the document in which we have all the students. Once we import them, we just have to drag here what corresponds to every single column. So the first column corresponds to the first name. Then we have the last name, identification, etc. Once we have all the information filled in, we just click to we just click in import students. And the system will import all our students with all the information that we have added in the Excel document. Once we have the students in the group, it's time to import their pictures. In this case, we access to students and import students and pictures. We have two options. We can import students' pictures manually, that is to say one by one, or we can import the group picture and use the facial recognition. We just select the picture from our uh, device and add the names of each student that appears in the picture.